In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Our Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, source of all, and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyr Saint Andrew Dunglach and his companions faithful to the cross of your son, even to the shedding of their blood, Grant through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be children both in name and in truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked, and there was a white cloud. And sitting on the cloud, one who looked like, like a son of man, with a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Another angel came out of the temple, crying out in a loud voice to the one sitting on the cloud, Use your sickle and reap the harvest, for the time to reap has come because the earth's harvest is, ri is fully ripe. So the one who was sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, who also had a sharp sickle. Then another angel came from the altar, who was in charge of the fire, and cried out in a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, Use the sharp sickle and cut the clusters from the earth's vines, for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle over the earth and cut the earth's vintage. He threw it into the great wine press of God's fury. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, 
When will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you, are, you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ. In our Gospel today, Christ says in the beginning, as the people are worrying about what kind of stones and offerings to put in the temple, Christ says to them, all that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. He's telling these people that all of these, these costly stones and votive offerings that they're worrying about um, and talking about setting up in the temple, that there will come a time when none of that remains. And he's not saying that these things aren't good. They're actually, they're used to, um, they're put in the temple, so these are all good things. Um, they're stones to, to make the temple look nice and offerings to offer to God in the temple. But Christ is just reminding us that this world is, there's, there's something that comes after this world, which we know is the eternal life. Christ is saying that to, to do the things in this world that we have to do, to live our life here in this world the best we can, um, to do what we have to do here. These are important things. But he's reminding us that the most important thing is heaven, is that eternal life with God. And he is reminding us today to always keep our eyes on heaven as number one. And if we do that, then we can do all the things in this world, and that's fine, because we know our priority, num our number one priority is heaven. That we keep our eyes in heaven, we keep focus on that ultimate goal in our lives, which is, comes after the life here and into the eternal life in heaven. That is the ultimate goal for us. And even today, we celebrate the feast of um, the Vietnamese martyrs. And these martyrs, they were following what Christ was saying. They had their eyes on Christ, fully on Christ. Christ was number one in their lives. Even to the point when their lives were threatened, they chose Christ and, and they paid for it with their lives. But because of that, because they always had Christ as they always re knew that Christ was their priority, that Christ was the one above all, their reward now for giving up their lives for him is that they are in heaven with him right now. And so we reflect on this gospel of how God is, Christ is saying that he, that God is always to be our number one priority in our lives and that we must always keep our eyes on him and in joining into the eternal life with him. Today's Mass is being offered for the special intentions of Roger Obkamp and for the repose of the souls of Gary Clements and Dane Lee.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs, so that amidst the trials of this life, we may be always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song and adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out. And without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In the true spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. now be making an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Renewed by the one bread as we commemorate the holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by, we may merit by endurance an eternal prize through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.